I'll never forget the time that our cashier, Eric, treated a customer differently because they were paying with a gift card. This is going to be a marketing lesson and a lesson on the value of target markets. My goal is to help, to help restaurant owners finally get to where they want to go. But more than that, my goal is to find entrepreneurs within that segment that actually know what it means to hustle. That's my goal. Come on the journey with me. Restaurant Marketing Secrets, episode 553. And today we're not talking restaurants, but we are talking marketing, this time in the boat business and fishing gear world that was my life back in the early 2000s, Plaps Pro Outdoors. The year is 2004, and I catch one of our employees at the front counter treating a customer differently because they were paying with a gift card they had won at a fishing tournament. And the conversation I had with Eric to tell him how that customer might actually be worth more than our regular customers, but at the worst case, a level playing field and not lesser was something that really was a marketing lesson in itself. So let me tell you how we got to that point. It was January of 2003, so a year or so earlier. We're at the Dayton Boat Show, which was also a fishing show, and we sold bass boats. Now, to put in perspective, I didn't fish. In fact, to this day, I'm still not a big fan of taking the fish off the hook. Kind of freaks me out a little, but back then I didn't like it at all. Didn't grow up fishing, never fished in my life, And here we were, a bass boat dealer, and here I am working the show. Guy walks up to me at our booth, and he asks if we would be interested in in sponsoring his fishing club. I'm like, what the hell's a fishing club? So he goes on to explain to me exactly what a fishing club is. And what their club was, was a group of 30 people that every Tuesday night met at a boat ramp, went out on boats and fished and came back two or three hours later whoever had the most fish won they weighed them in they released them back into the water and so i'm thinking about this i'm like so it's a bowling league but for fishermen he's like yeah i'm like hell yeah we'll do it and this guy looked at me shocked what nobody's ever told me yes like all of us buy our boats at dixie marine they won't give us the time of the day i'll spot you all day long what do you want i don't know Like, what if we give you $100 in gift cards? You say you got 30 people. You know, there's two per boat. There's 15 teams. We'll do a $50 gift card for first place, a 25 for second place, and I think we did a 15 and 10 for like third and fourth. Heck yeah. I said, but under one one rule, you have to put a sign there with our names. Like, dude, we'll do everything. We'll put your logo on our truck. We'll do whatever. That was the start of something that turned into something major that I never saw coming. So after that, I started asking some of our employees, tell me about the fishing tournaments. How many tournaments are there? How many clubs? Turns out in our region, Cincinnati, Dayton, Lexington, Louisville, there were a few hundred. And every week they got together and fished. I'm like, so let me get this right. The customers who can not only buy the boats we sell, but buy the fishing gear we sell, buy the service from our dealership and also get their maintenance products like oil are meeting on a weekly basis somewhere and nobody is helping them out with these tournaments. And it was like, no, Matt, nobody gives the fishermen the time of the day. We'll do it. So we came up with the Plaps Fishing Tournament Sponsorship Program. Any and every tournament would qualify. If you were under 25 fishermen, you got $50 in gift cards. If you were over 25 you got $100 in gift cards. You had to put one of our signs up, which we had printed, and you the gift service, of course, had our name on it. You had to announce us as the sponsor. And many of these tournaments went to the different levels. And this was every week, by the way. These tournaments were typically running from March to October in our area. The first year, we sponsored 180 tournaments, and there was also some bigger ones, like one-off events. And I think the number, if I remember correctly, was like $30,000 in gift cards. So now flash forward to 2004, and Eric's treating this customer wrong, and I'm telling him why that is wrong. I'm like, Eric, that person won this at a tournament with probably 30 to 40 of their peers. Everybody there has the potential to be a customer for everything we do. That is our absolute sniper rifle 
target market. The treat them incorrectly, they can now let 30 or 40 other people know that we're jackasses for that reason. And he saw the writing on the wall. But Matt, how does this help my restaurant? After the break, I'm going to give you a couple hacks and ideas I think you could take with this to do the same for your restaurant. That was easy. And getting America's Best Restaurants University is even easier. Hey, it's Matt, and I want to make sure that you take advantage of your free membership, abru.online slash free, to get access to your America's Best Restaurants University restaurant marketing program. And we recently added the Acquisition Engine Lite, a product we've sold to thousands of restaurants, is now free to help you, independent restaurant owners, find more frequent customers. Now back to the show. What I found in these fishing tournaments, you have the exact opportunity with your restaurant. Yes, we had a huge area. We could cover two to three hours, a radius around Northern Kentucky and Cincinnati to find these fishing clubs and events. You only have probably five to 10 miles where this would be effective, especially two to three miles right around your restaurant. But every single one of you have these opportunities. High school football, high school basketball, track, lacrosse, golf, volleyball, band, FHA, the Spanish club. You have people getting together every single week whose parents and grandparents and neighbors and other supporters who are spending money in your restaurant consistently. And yet not enough of you have put together a grassroots effort to dominate them. I talked to a rest today and he was asking for my advice. I looked at his marketing. I looked at his social. I looked at his database, loyalty website. Then I asked him something. What's your involvement in the community? Does the football coach know your name? So let's start with the most basic two people I think have the biggest impact. Does the football coach and the band director know your name? Well, no, they should. If I'm you, I'm going to introduce that fo- myself to that football coach and that band director. They each influence two to 3,000 people in your community. I'm then going to sponsor their team with product. Not money, but product. And also your social media, your email to support them in their fundraising efforts. But more than anything, I'm going to let that band director know and that coach know, hey, you can have your coaches meetings, your staff meetings here every week free of charge. Food's covered on me. This guy's like, so you want me to feed the football coaching staff every week? I said, yes. Let's say there's 10 coaches. You're going to eat a $300 bill. What do you think those coaches do outside of the, that one meal? They probably also could eat at your restaurant more often, refer you to other people. Then they're not going to come knocking on your door for their banquet to be free. They're going to come knocking on your door to serve your restaurant, to pay you to help them. You need to do the same thing we did. And by the way, those $30,000 in gift cards, we did the math one year. Our hard cost on the actual gift cards, after we took out the leakage, the ones that didn't get redeemed, and then we took the profit from the ones that did, I ended up having $4,000 in hard cost to sponsor over 180 events. Oh, and on top of that, we sold like $700,000 in boats. So I think giving away a couple gift cards really helped out. But a lot of you are shortchanging this effort. If I was you, every single coach within a couple miles of my restaurant would have a card, coaches eat free. You come by my restaurant whenever you want to, to have your meetings, to entertain people, you eat for free. You think they're not going to support you in a big way outside of that? They will. And you got to take those gift cards just like you would take cash. See ya. So as you know, I don't charge my content. We don't have sponsors. We don't have product placement in here. But what I want your help with is spreading the word. If you're finding value here, do me a favor. Share this on your social media. Share an episode with something that 
made sense to you, that's relevant to your restaurant, that you got value from, and tag Matt Plapp and America's Best Restaurants. Also, go to America's Best Restaurants on Facebook and on Google and leave us a review. Let us know the impact we've had on your restaurant with our roadshow, with our marketing help, or with our podcast. And last but not least, if you want to take the next step and help me out a lot and help us out a lot, text me a testimonial, 859-743-2408. That's my cell. A selfie video would be awesome about the impact this content or our company is having on your independent restaurant. But worst case scenario, just a few kind words. The way we can help lift this industry up is to help get content like this to more independent restaurant owners, and you are the key to spreading the word. I appreciate your support. Have an amazing day.